Kavi. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Good evening. Gavi, good evening. Helen, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Hello, guys, can you hear me? Hi, Christian, good evening. Gavi, hi, guys, can you hear me? Yeah. No, lo escucho bien suave. So you're like super, super soft. Guys, me escuchan bien? Can you hear me very well? Yes. Oh, okay, yes, I can hear you now. Yes, very well. Oh, nice. Good to hear that. So it was my my earphones. Adolfo, good evening. Thank you so much good for evening. joining, guys. How you doing? Fine. So fine. A little Great. bit, a little tired, but ready for learn English. Oh, very nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, well, T G I F first. Um, so it is like our first Friday, right? The last day or the last Friday of July. So guys, yeah. ya iniciamos el segundo periodo, you know, uh, of this year. And definitely we're going to be having like some vacation. Um, los compañeros eh, ya les comentaron por ahí, you know, admin eh, wrote like super early. Guys, vamos a tener una semana de vacación and we are coming back until um, like in two Mondays, right? So from this Monday to the next. So okay. um, I guess that is that has to be super good news for everybody. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, guys. And that is, you know, good because you can sleep and you can rest a little bit. Um, this expression, guys, que les compartí en el chat, TGIF, uh, lo van a ver everywhere, you'll see this everywhere, and that's like, thank God is Friday, right? So, well, guys, thank God is Friday. So the last day of the working week or business uh, day, right? And hopefully uh, you're not working Saturday, you're not, you are not working Sunday either. So, um, Let's get us started with part of the activities we got for the day. El día de ahora vamos a trabajar un poquito con los quantifiers. We'll be working with quantifiers a little bit. Y parte del vocabulario que está en su eh, sesión número 5. Guys, just a quick question. Todos ya trabajaron en la plataforma. Have you been working in the platform? ¿Alguien ha tenido dificultades? ¿Se le ha bloqueado? ¿O han tenido algún, algún issue? Or are we good? Yeah, I have been I have been working in the platform, but I can understand uh, that homework because I I I did I my homework are is done, but but I my my grades my score on my grade. Uh, we can fix the the ground answer, for example. Yes, that I, is I don't, possible. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, if that is a question, yes, the answer is yes. Uh, for example, if you completed one exercise, but you made a mistake, y quiere corregirlo, of course. Uh, plus ah, is open, and ah, you okay. can fix it anytime. Remember that okay. uh, necesitamos 80% mínimo, 80% minimum para tener una nota de aprobación, right? In that, the platform. That's okay. That's so, okay. Uh, I got it. Mistake is fine. Two mistakes is fine. But por supuesto, si lo quieren tener al 100%, you are free uh, uh -huh. to get there and to uh, work on it, you know, all the time, yeah. as many times I can as repeat. you want. Yes, that is okay. correct. That is that's correct. That's good. Una, yeah, that is amazing. Porque no se trata solo de la nota, right? Sino yes. the idea is um, que podamos revisar qué es lo que estuvo incorrecto, donde nos yeah. equivocamos y lo corrijamos, right? That we can learn from mistakes. Um, oh. Esa es la razón why the platform is open. Okay, guys, los demás todos tienen acceso. Chris, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? Andrea, Gaby, Helen. 
eh, Daniel, ¿todo bien, guys? ¿No han tenido dificultades? ¿No se les ha bloqueado? Todo bien, teacher. Sin problema. Oh, it's all fine. Ok. Uh, the thing is that um, la plataforma, you know, tiene una contraseña genérica, right? But, si en algún momento se nos olvida o la cambiamos y se nos olvida la contraseña que hemos puesto, la, contra, eh, la plataforma tiene un bloqueo de 24 horas. This is why I'm asking, right? Eh, si les llega a pasar, eh, si se llegan a equivocar con la, con la contraseña, si la han cambiado, um, be aware that por 24 horas no van a tener acceso. Así que, just be patient, ok? But I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, normally, mi recomendación es que no la cambien, right? I strongly recommend you not to change it, because um, igual no, no les afecta en nada si le llegan a cambiar or anything. But no. that would be the point. Okay, guys. So, vamos a trabajar a little bit with quantifiers, as I mentioned. Eh, un poquito de los que tenemos en la plataforma, in section four. Y un poquito del vocabulario que les aparece in section number five. Judy, good evening. Hello, girl. Hello. Hello. And uh, so, guys, to get us started today, I have this question that we always try to, you know, hi, Jorge, Jose, hi, Arnoldo. We always try to discuss something to generate ideas. And I have a very, um, I don't know, I think that a difficult topic. Uh, and it says, no one should ever tell a lie. Agree or, dis or disagree. So I guess everybody has seen Pinocchio. Right? Everybody's familiar with the movie, with the cartoon, etc. So, and we have the boy, you know, like showing you, <laughs> telling you like to be quiet. Um, everybody has to lies, but the point is, do you agree or do you disagree with this? That no one should ever tell a lie. Here you have some words uh, that we can use, for example, white lies, right? When you say, oh, mentiras piedras, I say, oh, we got a white lie. Uh, we have trust. When you believe in people, um, trick, that is the opposite. You know, we have been tricked or we can trick people. We can hurt people. Uh, we can disguise, you know, uh, information, for example. We can exaggerate, manipulate, tell a lie, Photoshop things, etc. So the point is, uh, what do you think, guys? Do you agree or do you disagree with this statement? I think sometimes um, it's necessary to <laughs> tell a little white like. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> necessary. Okay. <laughs> For example, yeah, like, when would you but, just. Uh -huh. But sometimes. Okay, in what Not scenario, in what situation? Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think to maintain peace with other people. But for or, example? Or for don't hurt. Uh, Someone's or feelings? Don't hurt. Uh -huh. yes. Someone's feelings? Okay, so someone's? Yeah, uh, the alarm, the alarm. The alarm o'clock uh, folds, for example. Oh, like at work. <laughs> yeah. Oh. When, when you are late. Okay, like I had some problems with my alarm. Okay. Uh, alarm, yeah. Okay. That is a white lie, but is that okay? Is that acceptable? White lie. Hmm. That was, or I don't know, that is not a white lie. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Tell us. Like a, like a mercy lie. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, a, a white lie actually is una mentira piadosa. It's like a beautiful lie, like a little lie, but it's a lie. So, guys, what do yeah. you think? What are what are your thoughts on this? Okay, um, first, I have a question for you. How often do you tell a lie? How often? Mm -hmm. 
how often mm. do you tell a lie? <laughs> I so, think it, that depends of the situation. Okay, when was the last time you told a lie to somebody? Um, a white lie? Mm, yes, a lie, okay. regardless. <laughs> Yesterday. Please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we know? Uh, can, can we get the information? Uh, why do you lie to a person? Can, you said that you told a lie yesterday. Andrea? So you mentioned that you told a lie yesterday. Can we have yes. more, more details? Is it possible? to get more details in my work uh, my boss uh, pide uh, ask ask uh, uh, exhibiciones no sé cómo se dice present uh, well, bueno, si ajá, son físicas exhibitions ajá. Ajá. or presentations and, I don't know en en nos, nos ponen un número y you get like a goal ajá uh -huh. you get a goal then, and then my partner my partner my uh -huh. coworker in I uh -huh. eh, say at my boss a number eh, falso false uh, yes a false number ajá uh ajá -huh. uh -huh. Esa fueron. Ok. <laughs> ok. You said that this was a white lie. Um, did this lie affect in any way? No. Al contrario, no beneficia. <laughs> <laughs> so you could get benefit. <laughs> you could get benefits from it. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. Really, really interesting. So that was yesterday. Okay. Why? Um. Why didn't you tell the truth? We are pay attention. Why? Why didn't you tell the truth? <laughs> Miss, I don't wow. understand. Uh, yes. I mean, why? Uh. So you told your boss a false number right uh something that was not real but why didn't you tell the truth why didn't you tell your boss the real number Porque no dijo la verdad. Mm -hmm. why didn't you tell the truth <laughs> it's for convenience <laughs> uh, okay so really convenient it was convenient Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Judy, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm asking. Okay, okay. Sounds all right. Uh, Judy, tell us when was the last time you told a lie, guys? <laughs> uh, something, something a lie, but um, with my sons. Mm -hmm. Um, because they are young and okay. cannot get know many things. Okay. So you told lies to your son or your son told lies to you? Yes. So your son lied to you. So su hijo le mintió, your son lied to you. No, no, no. In my case, mm -hmm. eh, uh, mm -hmm. I like oh, to your to children, my children uh -huh. to my children because they are young okay. and cannot just know many okay. things. Okay, but for example, for uh, when do you lie to your children? Eh, a veces pregunta cosas de adulto, no sé. <laughs> oh, okay. They want to know, but but what kind? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Tell us. <laughs> when do you lie? 
Because, for example, the light, I, don't, the, I don't have babies, white light teacher, white but light. I have nephews. So, si me preguntan algo, if they ask something about adult stuff, intento decir la verdad, you know, I try to tell them the truth. Uh, yeah. Probably with other words. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, but only with with adult uh, with depends tricky the, questions. Depends of situation. But they it have an the internet and not um, problem. That is the other one that they have internet or friends. So yes, um, we have this one that is tricky questions, right? Preguntas difíciles de contestar or difficult questions. So we can have tricky questions. Okay. So Yuri says that that is more common with children. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? Hi, Kenya. Good evening. Margarita. Hello, girls. Guys, can anda en el concierto? <laughs> so who was in the concert? Is it uh, Daddy Jackie's concert today? Yeah, tonight. Oh, tonight. Okay. <laughs> I saw yeah. in the chat, but I was like, what's going on? Okay, got it, <laughs> got it. So um, what about the rest of you guys? What do you think? Today. Today. Kenya, are you going to the concert tonight? Yes, teacher. Please, pero después de la clase, mis. <laughs> so after classes, please. How, how do you say voy en camino? No, I'm on my way. She has a VIP ticket, right? So, Kenya, are yes. you serious? You're on your way to the concert? Oh, my God. Kenya, but, but, no se envía videos, please. <laughs> Send pictures when you get there. Okay. <laughs> no se vaya a desconectar. Sí, WhatsApp group. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I thought you were kidding. <laughs> okay. Hi, Imelda. Good evening. Okay, guys. No, it's true. No. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I saw it. Okay. Okay. No worries. Thank you so much, Imelda. I hope you get home sound and safe. Okay. So definitely we will continue with this because uh, there are a lot of things we can definitely say about this topic. But you know, uh, because of the time, we are going to move ahead with the next part. So, um, mm, okay. We have uh, for today, we are going to practice a little bit uh, of, uh, you know, some quantifiers. So we are going to review how many, how much, you know, a couple of words that we can use when we are talking about numbers like um, a, n, uh, a few, a little, and so forth. <laughs> okay, Kenya. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, but that's so cool. Enjoy it, miss. It's really cool. Okay, guys. So here we have a little conversation. Um, it's a little bit related to food, but we can get the most of it. Um, Daniel, please help me with letter A. Can you read all letter A? Iris, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. And Noemi, good evening too. How you doing guys? Carlos, hello. Uh, great good to evening. see you there. Good evening. Okay, so um, let me see. Okay, Daniel, help us with letter A, please. And Andrea, mm -hmm. can you help us with letter B, please? Okay, um, what's that? It's a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my diet. Oh, oh. what do you eat and drink in a week? Number one. How much butter and cheese do you eat? Not much. Not much? You have a cheese sandwich every day and you always have a, a lot of cheese and water in it. Okay. Number two. How many cakes and biscuits do you eat? Not many. Not many? You normally have three or four biscuits with a cup of coffee. And you eat a lot of cake too. And where are you going? You can fill in, in the questionnaire. I'm going to get some food. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, guys. Exactly. 
So they are talking about food, right? Like some drinks. Bless you. I'm sorry. <laughs> So they have a couple of things like how much butter and cheese do you eat? Uh, so how many cakes and biscuits do you eat, right? And uh, if it is like a lot of cake, a cup of coffee, etc. So we are going to talk a little bit about this. First, let's take a look at this word that is called questionnaire. So guys, repeat with me, please. Questionnaire. 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 That's a questionnaire. So questionnaire. Um, they have a questionnaire about the person's diet, right? And we have this expression, how much butter and cheese. Um, but then the question changes, how many cakes and biscuits? Not many, right? So when do we use... Uh, how much, when do we use, how many? Uh, normally when we are talking about numbers, quantities, amounts, we can use uh, how much or how many. The difference is that how much is going to be used for um, asking questions. So how much, we normally use it with drinks, right? or with things that don't have a number, like how much coffee do you drink? How much sugar uh, do you get in your coffee? Um, I can also use the word time, for example, something that doesn't have a plural. How much time? Cuánto tiempo eh, gastas o inviertes en esto? How much time uh, do you take to go to work? How much time do you sleep? So how much time refers to the hours, right? But we don't normally use how much times, but how much time. So we use it for drinks. We use it for singular words or words that don't have a plural. Um, so guys, can you give me a couple of examples of what words we can use with how much? I already gave you one, so we have time, we have coffee, we have water, yes? Money. How much? In Money. My work, in my work, I use the, how much fuel do you need? How much? Fuel. Fuel is a, it's a combustible. Oh, fuel, this one. Fuel. Oh, very nice. Okay, so how much fuel? Yes, yes, um, exactly. How much, fuel? Mm -hmm. how much fuel do you need? Yes. Anything else? Or gas, right? How much gas do you need? Mm -hmm. Money. Anything else? Money. Yes. This is very interesting. Wind. What is it? Win. 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 Which win? Uh, can you spell that for me? Viento. How much win? How much? Yes, 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 definitely. Uh, it's similar. It's similar to earn money, not to win. No, earn, earn money. Where this one? No, the last one. Um. Some so somebody make some, money. Make money. make make money mm. or earn or earn money. What happens here is that um, in the sense of money, eh, la palabra money no tiene plural. We don't normally say, uh, you know, no hablamos de, de dólares, we don't talk about monedas, sino la palabra yeah, moneda, yeah. No, no, money yeah. as such, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So the word money no tiene plural, and this is why we normally say how much money, right? So, yes. I understand that how much is um, para words incountable? Yes, okay. that is right. So how much is for uncountable words? Now, what is that? How many is, uh -huh. is the words uh, for countable? 
That is correct. That is definitely right. Now, I have a question con countable and uncountable, guys. Um, that in English, le llamamos countable or uncountable aquellas que tienen o no tienen plural. So, when we are talking about how much, yes, this is uncountable words. ¿Cuáles son las uncountable? We call uncountable words las que no tienen plural. That is, you know, the key here. Because eh, no es a las que les agregamos ese, but las que no tienen plural. For example, um, if we talk about money, no tiene plural, so it se considera uncountable, porque no, I don't come and I say monies. That is not possible. Coffee, I don't come and I say coffees. Puedo decir una, una jarra? I can say a cup. I can say, I don't know, a bag, but not coffees. So pretty much, yes, son uncountable words, o les que les llamamos eh, singular words as well. Uh, how many, as Judy said, yes. How many is normally used for countable words. What are countable words? Plural words. Las que sí les puedo agregar S, right? The ones I can add S. So this is something very important to make a difference because, uh, for example, Vamos a ver algunas palabras, right? Que no tienen forma plural. They don't have a plural word. That is not possible. And this is why se consideran, you know, um, uncountable words. So uh, we, have, we have definitely more here. All liquids, todas las bebidas, all liquids, water, oil, fuel, um, what else? Um, I don't know, alcohol, for example, wine, all of them, they don't have a plural word. So normally, this is why they are considered uncountable. Now, countable, this is a little easier because si tiene plural, that's countable. For example, I have child. So se considera countable porque tiene forma plural that is children, right? So that is the one. Now, I want you to take a look at something very interesting because we have the word time. Puedo preguntar how much time, pero yo también puedo preguntar how many times. Now, ¿cuál es la diferencia, guys? What's the difference here? It's talking about the, for example, different occasion. Uh-huh, okay. Be so. Basis. Yes, exactly. So how mm -hmm. much time and how many times? How no es time? lo mismo. This is not the same. Hey, how much time? Yeah. Cuántas horas, right? How much time? Hey, how much time do you work? How much time do you sleep? I want to know the period of time. How many times? Yeah. On the other hand, as Adolfo said, that refers to times, las veces. Oh, how many yeah. times do you go to work? How many times do you talk to your boss every day? How many times have you visited other countries? How many yeah. times do you go to the church? So how much? How many? Si podemos usar ambas, we can use both, but the meaning definitely change, right? It changes. So we have uh, times, that is a possibility, and then tenemos todas aquellas que tengan plural. So you have, for example, child, and we got uh, children, right? Uh, we have woman and the plural is women. Mm -hmm. Women, exactly. That is the one. Uh, we have men and plural is men. Oh, I'm sorry. We have men and plural is men. 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 There you go. So. There are like a lot of words like this. And the most common that we have is, for example, I have sofa and the plural is very easy because I just have letter S and I can ask how many sofas, how many men, how many women, how many children, how many times. So money, no se podía pluralizar, pero si yo puedo pluralizar los dólares, so if I want to ask guys, ¿cuántos dólares son that? What is the question? How many? How many dólares? How do many you dólares? Have? Pero si quiero preguntar bucks? de billete. Oh, how many? Uh, yeah, that's possible. But si quiero preguntar de billetes, how many? How, how many bills? Say, 
bills. There you go. Esto sí lo puedo pluralizar. Or if I want to ask about monedas. Hey, how, ¿cuántas monedas son that? How many? How many coins. coins? Coins. Exactly. How many coins? Or ¿cuántos centavos son that? Right? How many dollars? How many cents? So, how that many is cents? Point. How much money? ¿Cuánto dinero? No puedo pluralizarle. How many? Yeah. Eso sí lo puedo pluralizar. How many bills? How many coins? How many cents? How many dollars? Dollars. Right? Mm -hmm. And you previously said, si quiero preguntar cuánto ganas, how much money? No le pregunto how cuántos much money? billetes ganas, right? <laughs> how many bills uh, do you earn? But how much do you earn? ¿Cuánto dinero tienes? Yeah. How much money do you have? Uh, so that is the difference, you know? Now, um, of course, there are a couple of ways to answer these. But guys, eh, preguntas, questions, doubts. Um, I know that. So let's do a repaso, but let me know, please. No doubts. No doubts, no questions, guys. Estamos it's bien, so are we good? People, the rest, no questions, no doubts. Oh. Okay, very nice. So if no questions, guys, let's do something super quick. I'm going to give you five minutes. Can you please write five questions using how much and five questions using how many? Be super creative. Now, ¿qué es lo que va a suceder, guys? What is going to happen with these words? Uh, coffee, water, money, fuel, gas. Como no los puedo pluralizar, but si quiero preguntar cuántas tazas de algo ustedes toman, there is a way to do that. So, hearing how many, en vez de how many coffee, que no se puede, voy a agregar a couple of words to make it possible. So, we have a cup of, right? A cup of coffee. Si es más grande, se toman eh, café como en esos jarrones, you know. Uh, los cumbos, I don't know how you call it, guys, in Spanish. We can say a mug of. So a mug is esa grandota, you know. So a cup of, a mug of, um, glass of, si es una cucharada de algo. How do you say cucharada, guys? Cucharada. Spoon, yes, a spoon of, there we have, so a cup of, a mug of, a glass of, a spoon of, hi Rafael, good evening, um, a spoon yeah. of, y tenemos yeah. muchas más formas, we have a lot of words uh, to, you know, um, say this, for example, um, una de las palabras que no podemos pluralizar es butter, en la pregunta, en la conversación es, how much butter, right? No puedo pluralizar butter, pero yo sí puedo decir una barra, ya, de margarina, por ejemplo, de mantequilla. So a bar of, a bar of chocolate, a bar of margarine, a bar of butter, and that is possible. Uh, ¿Qué más? What else? What comes to your mind? Um. Milk, guys, uh, I cannot say how many milk, because that is a drink. Milk? So, uh, ¿qué podemos usar para la leche? What can we use for milk? Cup. A cup, ¿qué más? Yeah, sugar. Yeah, but, pero para medidas, no. what can we use? To, like to measure. measure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bottles. Okay, so yeah, we can use a bottle, right? A bottle of milk. I can say un litro de leche, right? So that yeah, would be a, a liter. A liter, two li uh, I'm sorry. Uh, a liter. Am I writing liter. the word correctly? Hold on. Liter. Yes. So that would be um, a liter of something. A gallon. A liter of something. Me falta. Wait, let me just check a spell. A gallon, yes. Without double T. Yes, I'm feeling it's I only only it. only one T. Yeah, I think so. Let me just a liter. Uh, let me just make sure. It's, no, no, no. Sorry, that is my bad. Okay. Without, so yeah. There you go. So a liter of milk. 
And we have other words. We can say, for example, no sé si han visto la presentación que viene como en envases de cartón, right? Como cartón. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. So we can also say a carton of, right? So we have a lot For, of different ways. Ah. Uh, ¿Qué más vienen cartones, guys? A carton of milk? A carton of juice? Yeah. Um, um, the rice. Rice. No in carton, but in pounds. Mm -hmm. So we can use a pound. You are right. Uh, uh, so uh, a, a pound pack. of. A bag. Oh, pack. Yes. So a bag of. Yeah, so a yeah. pound of. A bag of. And, and pack. Mm -hmm. Pack two. So a package. Yeah. yeah, package. We can also use a package of something, and that is right. So, um, los hacemos. We made them countable by adding not just a a or a, but adding something else. So you can do it this way. Okay, guys. So let's work it out. I'm going to give you some minutes. Let's write five questions with how much. Five questions with how many. Um, and let's do it, guys. Let's work on it. Solamente recordemos that normally uh, we to make the equation to make the equation wait we need to say what we are talking about like for example how many uh, cartons of milk of milk then the rest do you need do you have do you want right do you drink do you, do you use drink? Mm -hmm. uh, etc okay. so we normally use what if we are going to ask using how much it is the same story so how much milk do you drink in the morning and there we go yeah so it is going to be exactly the same structure Okay, guys, we have five minutes. If you need some help, uh, please let me know. Okay. Okay, in, in this in the same platform, right? In this platform, not in a particular. No, no, no. Uh, you can write it on your notebook on a piece of paper. On on the room, or okay. I'm sorry. Uh, you're cutting off a little bit. What was that? Uh, uh, Adolfo se le cortó un poco. No sé si uh, no le logré escuchar. Dejo la idea. No, we can practice right now. It's not necessary go to the room, for example. No, 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 no. No, no. Just, just write them. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got oh, it. Just no. write. Okay. Yeah, just write the question. Good. Okay.
questions, guys? One more minute, guys. Okay. I just write to question only. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'll give you more time, no worries. <laughs> okay. My question is about the beer consumption. <laughs> beer consumption? How many uh, beer? Beer. Oh, beer consumption. Uh, yeah, beer consumption. Oh. How much beer? How much beer do you drink? Do you drink? Okay. <laughs> okay. And yeah. And for example, the the person answer. Uh, sometimes some beers, I, I I I do the question again. How many beers do you drink in a month or in a last okay. weekend? Oh, you have modified the questions a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. the Sounds same. Good. Okay, to so talk about frequency, but that is okay. That is all right. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll give you some more time. Um, a cup of, a mug of. Thank you. 
Niño. Rodolfo, fíjate que es mi tía Hortensia, era hermana de mi abuela. All right, guys, uh, are you ready? Is everybody ready? Uh, do you have some questions? Do you need more time? I'm ready, miss. Okay, okay, good. What about the rest, guys? Do you need more time? How many questions do you have? I have four and three. <laughs> oh, okay, but that is okay. That, that sounds good, sounds good. Four, three. How many? Margarita, how many do you have? Margarita. Oh, she removed her earphones. <laughs> okay. How many questions do you have, Margarita? Do you need more time? Yes. Hello. Hello. How many questions do you do you have? Um, uh, three coffee. Okay. Uh, How many questions do you have? Eh, no había prestado atención y no sabía qué era lo que estábamos haciendo. Oh, okay. No, okay, no worries. So, vamos a crear preguntas, Miss, utilizando ya sea how much or using how many, right? Solamente poniendo la atención. If it is uncountable here, o si es uh, contable con la parte de how many, 
like how many uh, times, how many children, how many, I don't know, cups of coffee, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is the one. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, so, uh, let me see. What about the rest? Noemi, what does lleva? How many do you have? I have five for every. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. So five sounds good. Okay, I have a, guys. a difficult. I have a difficult question. You got a difficult one. Why? What is it? Yeah. How much time do you spend on Facebook? <laughs> a lot. Of. How much? <laughs> how much time do yes. you spend on, on Facebook? <laughs> Too much. Depending. <laughs> depending. The much. depending on what? <laughs> depending okay. on the depending. Day? On the day, how yeah. many, how, okay, how many times a day? Depending because him, I am, I am, I am oh, only one time, I, only one time, and keep and keep connected all the time. I am where I am at my work, um, two hours on two Facebook. Hours. Oh, when I have, okay. when when I really, have, when I have a a day off. Uh, four hours. Four your hours. boss is tracking. Your boss is tracking you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. So well. No, because I, because I need I need I need to be concentrate con estar concentrado en mi trabajo. So you need to, to focus. You need to focus. Focus, focus, focus on my work. I mean, yes. My, uh, yeah, but yeah. they, they need to No puede estar en Facebook. It's on your work. No. You cannot be Facebook. Mismo. No. Por eso mismo. Por eso mismo. Uh -huh. You can, you can get like a terrible accident. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's no, not no possible Por eso in your necesito, case. Por eso Aprovechar. Focus. <laughs> yeah. I got that. Por eso. Okay. Now, now, guys, to answer these questions, this is very interesting because it, it, if the question is how much, we have a couple of ways to answer this. Uh, first, how much? Si es un poquito, the answer normally goes with a little, right? How much? A little. A little. Oh, how much coffee do you drink? A little. How much water do you drink? A little. So a little, that is like a small quantity. Then we have some, right? Some, and then we have a lot or a lot of, which are the most common. But take a look at this one, or we can say too much, right? So too much, or we can always say not enough. Hey, how much water do you drink? I not enough. No lo suficiente. I need to drink more water because I drink just a little bit or I drink too much water. But remember, too much, me da la idea que es extrema, ya yeah, too much. And with countable words, it's different because my question is, ¿cuántos? I need to know a number. So you can say, ah, uh, you can say, and, or, guys, how can I say poquito? Because here I say a little, Pero si es contable, for example, la pregunta de Adolfo was, how many beers, I think? How many beers or how many, I don't know, bottles of beer do you drink? How do you, how do you say poquito, guys? A little few. A few, perfect. There we go. So a few es cuando lo puedo contar. Oh, I have a few friends. Yeah. I have a, free, a few books. I have a few pairs of shoes. So a few, a little, take a look. Es lo mismo, pero different words. So if a, some, it's exactly the same, then we can have, or we can say a lot, or a lot of, those are the most common words. And here, if you take a look, I have more possibilities. I can say several, I, I several. can say plenty, or I Plenty can say off. a bunch of, like when you say in Spanish, a un puñado, a bunch of, right? So this is the word that we normally use. Of course, un montón. We can, mm -hmm, exactly, un montón. We can use too many. Again, this is negative. Hey, how many brothers do you have? How many sisters do you have? Demasiado. <laughs> I can give you some, right? So too many is something negative. 
And we can say again, not enough. No lo not suficiente, enough. not enough. Guys, if I ask you, for example, hey, how many pairs of shoes do you have? How many pairs of shoes do you have? No necesitamos un número because you won't go there y les va a contar one, two, three, four. That's not necessary. Not so, necessary. Guys, how many pairs of shoes do you have? A few. A few. Some. Yeah. A lot of pairs of shoes. Plenty pairs of shoes. Not uh, no. too, too, um, too many or not enough? How many pairs not of enough. shoes do you have? <laughs> Not enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Too many. Too many. How much too is many. too many? ¿Cuántos serían too many? 20? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I, Christian. I can say I more than I need. More, yes, of course. More than I need, too many. Yes, I yes. Only, I am how to fit. You only have two pairs, two pairs of shoes. No, no, no. two feet. Two? No, yes, pairs of shoes. Uh, six. 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 Oh, six pairs of shoes. Uh -huh, but, but I go, <laughs> I go need a lot, a lot of, a lot of pair of shoes. I depend. It, it, it depends. <laughs> no, I'm super honest, you know, um, because uh, before COVID, I had too many mm. pairs of shoes, you know, but then we worked home office. So, como say, you know, uh, a dar mis zapatos to give my shoes away because no los usaba. I didn't wear them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. now I have probably five pairs of shoes, like uh, a yeah. pair of sandals, uh, two pairs of sneakers, a pair of flats, a pair of high heels, and that's it, you know. So, okay. yeah, so <laughs> I, have, uh, I have just a few pairs of shoes. I don't have a lot. But That's yes, I mean. <laughs> that could, yeah, yeah, exactly. But I am at home, you know. Iris, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Um, too many, teacher. Too many. Too many. How, how many is too many? <laughs> too many. So how many? Like twenty. No, uh, more than um, 20, less than 40, 20. It, no, 40. 40. Yes. No, wow. 14. No, 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 wait. 40. And 40 or 14? No, 14. Oh, 14. <laughs> Miss, for a second, escuché 40. And I was like, wow, I want to see your closet. <laughs> okay, so 14. Okay, okay. So there we go. Now, guys, what happens if the question is a little different? What happens if the question is how much? Hey, how much time? Uh, how much time more? do you have so let me write it down how much decíamos que time is para tiempo so how much time off do you have wow. how much time off do you have a day a day mm -hmm. no, how no. much time off okay no. not enough okay no i mean no. how much time off do you have every day not enough, really. Uh, but how much? Like one hour, two hours? Um, maybe Around. only one hour for my lunch. It's only the time of my day. Okay, so one hour. Oh, that's a little yeah. bit. Okay. Um. So what about the rest of you? Um, Margarita, how much time off do you have? Um, um, time off, right? So time off is like tiempo uh, fuera del Free trabajo, time. tiempo libre, mm -hmm. time um, for you. Um,
Media hora, ¿cómo lo puedo pronunciar? Half an hour. Half. I'm going to write it in the chat. Half an hour. So, half an hour. In my work. Eh, eh, uh, as an hour. So half an hour eh, at work, pero half an hour para almorzar, half an hour for lunch. Yes. Uh -huh. Wow. Half an hour for lunch. Okay. And uh, Margarita, what, what time do you get home? Um, bueno, What? por uh -huh. en mi tiempo que tengo, casi no tengo tiempo. Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> so, okay, half an hour for lunch, but después del trabajo, after work. Um, quizás uno, una hora. An hour, okay. So it's a little, oh, that would be a little time. A little or, time. Y los fines de semana. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, but you have weekends off? In the fin de semana libre, weekends off? Yes. Oh, no, because you have a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> so you have weekends off. Okay. So I have, uh, I don't know. I think I have some time, but probably not enough. Not what I would like, but yes. Okay, guys, so vamos a practicarlo, but just remember what are the possible answers. Normally, si la pregunta fue con how much, I can say a little, some, a lot, too much, not enough. If the equation was too many, entonces cambia. Si es un poquito, a few. How much, a little, uh, uh, and how many, a few, right? Uh, and then if I want to say bastante, si la pregunta fue how much, too much. Too much. The question was how many, too many. So pretty much esas son las diferencias entre estos dos. Okay, guys, okay. we are going to go ahead. Now we are going to practice. Um, read the questions you have, please, to your classmates. And let's try to um, listen to them carefully and answer them back. Uh, por ahí los visito in case you have any question we can clarify that guys we have 10 minutes go to the groups please let's go 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 okay you have 10 minutes
And how how many planes do you attend for for a week on a week? On a how? week, twenty. Twenty airplanes. Twenty. 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 Twenty yeah, airplanes. Because, because it's a big it's plane or like a, a middle middle plane. A middle plane. All right. Yeah, it's a it's a um, P eight. You can you can you can look and Google is some P8 in the US Navy. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and helicopters in a little airplane. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, good. it's nice. It's nice my work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you okay. when you work uh, at night. Uh, do do you usually drink coffee? Yes. Yeah. How yeah. many? How two, many coffee? Two, two, one or two cup of coffee. Um, uh, all night. Yeah. And I work twelve. I work twelve, twelve hours. One or two cup, two cup of coffee. Uh, okay. No sugar so, or sugar. Yeah, with sugar, sugar, sugar. With sugar. Two, two, okay. two spoons of sugar. <laughs> okay. Y el okay. pan dulce que no puede faltar. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's, let, uh, let's get to participate the other, the other I hear, placement. Did I hear you work 12 hours? 12 hours? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. yes, my, my, my. Your okay, shift. My, uh -huh, my shift, my. My day shift and uh -huh. night shift is a uh, 12 hours. Every day? From seven, from seven no, I work uh, four days a day. I'm rest four days. And I work four days at night. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Trabajo cuatro, yeah. trabajo cuatro días de día uh, por 12 horas. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh. Yes, and trabajo cuatro días. That's good. Uh, uh, and at night? Okay. In, in the night, in the night, from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. All the night. Mm -hmm. oh. All night. Oh, and what do you do with your classes? Um, Really, at night don't have a lot of a lot of work. Oh. I I I take two hours for receive. If I have time, I receive the class at night. Ah, okay. When, when when we have operation, um, sorry, I I can I can receive receive the, the class. Yes, I get it. No, but you know, but, may I molest question? It called my attention because you have been here, you know, the whole week. Yeah. So I was like, how come she works at night? <laughs> okay. So uh, so podemos usar la palabra availability, right? Right? That is disponibility. So, so you have some availability. That means mm -hmm. que no hay mucho flujo de trabajo, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Y tiene tiempo yes. para chilear. <laughs> so that is availability. General, yeah. Generalmente, generalmente en la noche. Y eso al día de hoy. Es solo por hacer acto de presencia, digamos así. Uh -huh. Porque la, la mayoría de, de operaciones en el día. Daniel, I love your job. <laughs> <laughs> that you. sounds like a very my that's my dreams job, you know. Mm. He, he, he sleep every night. This no. is the conclusion. No, because I guess no. you have emergencies, so there are emergencies, yeah. you got something yeah. to do. But mm -hmm. you know, four days in, four days out. I mean, yeah. that's amazing yeah. for me. Sounds really yeah. good to me. It's like, people, nice. por lo menos, eh, como trabajé de domingo a jueves esta semana. Mm -hmm. Y ahí descanso viernes, sábado, domingo, viernes, sábado, domingo, y el lunes voy en la noche. O sea, el lunes ah. descanso hasta como a las, hasta como a las cinco de la tarde que me voy de aquí de mi casa. Ya a ganar oh, el transporte, ya nice. para estar a las... Yeah, for the most in uh, that the Monday, I I go I will go to my wife and my children 
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
the rest of the partner or the classmate because I think so that uh, Christian, me, and Daniel, we we talk a uh, a lot of. A lot. <laughs> yes. Well. The other, the other, the other, uh, the other compañeros. <laughs> yeah. We the other. we are we are parrots. <laughs> but that is not a bad thing, mm -hmm. though. That is actually very nice because uh, that is the idea that uh, you know you can express your opinion, right? Um, okay. Andre, are you there? Rafa, are you there? Yes, guys? Miss, I'm here. Talking, talking. I, I Don't be shy. To the <laughs> <laughs> I am shy. <laughs> Vamos a quedar calladitos nosotros para que hablen ustedes. Yes, be quiet, please. Be quiet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel, Christian, and Adolfo, be quiet, please. Yeah. No, be quiet. <laughs> Uh, Rafa, what questions do you have? Um, six or seven questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you so, tell us uh, the questions? Um, I, I have a question. Um, in how much are, are the tomato, for example? Mm -hmm. How much? Are... How much? Add the tomatoes. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. If you're asking about price, right? Um, para preguntar cuánto, o yes. How many? Does it how many tomatoes in the table, for example? Uh, I mean, estoy diciendo como la cantidad. Mm, not really. What happens is this. Mm -hmm. La pregunta solita, how much, significa el precio. O so, sea, me está preguntando el precio de algo. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto valen uh -huh. los tomates? How much are the tomatoes? Uh, oh, ¿Cuánto vale la it. computadora? Ajá, uh -huh. how much is it? How much is a computer? Uh -huh. Pero si quieres saber, por ejemplo, cuántos, eh, cuántos tomates. No sé si esa era la pregunta. ¿Cuántos tomates o cuánto vale? No, cuántos tomates. Ah, entonces tendríamos que utilizar la otra, que es how many, how many exactly. tomatoes. Mm -hmm. How many no, tomatoes do you need? But, but you can ask yeah. how much tomatoes do you need for the lunch? How many? How no? many tomatoes do you need? How much tomato? ¿Cuánto mm. tomate? Mm. I wouldn't say that's common. Lo que sucede es que tomato, you know, es contable. It's a unity, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, a menos mm -hmm. que, no, I was thinking about how much, a menos que fuera jugo de tomate. How much tomato yeah. juice do you need? So in that case, yeah. that is possible with how much. De lo contrario, that would be how many. Incluso so si fueran tomato. rodajas, you know, how many slices of tomato It's do like you need? Yeah. Of course, I got in my, it. In, in, my, in my case, I, 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 I write uh, the next statement. Mm -hmm. How many tomatoes will you use for the lunch? Oh, how the, many uh, tomatoes will you use? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds will good. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. how many tomatoes do you need for lunch? Okay. Anything else? Uh, how many ketchup do you want? Um, do you want? That's a very good example. Take a look at this. Tomatoes, si los podemos contar like one, two, three. Ketchup mm -hmm. es líquido. So, yeah. a menos que digamos botellas de ketchup. Okay. That's oh. very tricky. Eso es bien, bien tramposa. Because we have ketchup. So, yeah. si fuera líquido. Oh, ¿cuánto ketchup querés en las papitas? How much or how many? How much? How much ketchup? Oh, Pero yeah. si hablamos de las botellas de ketchup, ¿cuántas botellas quieres? So how many bottles of ketchup? Exactly. Yeah. How many bottles yeah. of ketchup yeah. do you need? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Sure. Is similar to that. No, no, no. How do you call it? I would say good explanation. That would say bags. Or a veces son como como when you go to the place. Ah, como cups. Como depósitos. Yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, yo diría samples, que son como muestras, right? Yeah, samples, so samples. How many samples of ketchup do you need? Dígame, Iris, tell me, tell me. Is a similar example, uh, how much gasoline do you put in your car? Uh, and how many gallons of gasoline 
similar, verdad? The, the, the next example. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, it is exactly fuel? the same idea. How much uh -huh. fuel? How much or fuel? How many gallons? How many gallons? Exactly. How much gasoline? How much fuel? A menos que si, digamos, like, la cantidad, like, pero en botellas, en galones, en libras, entonces sí podemos usar how many. ¿Mm? How many. In, in, in this case of the Salvadorian people, teacher, uh, we generally I need 10 dollars. Yes, no, no, no compramos. Don't gallons. Buy, don't, don't buy, yeah. buy gallons, yes. Well, I, yeah, we well, say two or three. ¿Cómo sería la, cómo se, how many, how you... Well, yeah, como question. estamos hablando de dinero, because we're talking about how money, much? that would be much. How much? How much, how much, how much uh, diesel do you need? Yes, how much yeah. gasoline That's do you need? How much That's diesel do you need? need? Uh, yeah, I would say okay. probably por nuestra cultura es más como para lo que me alcance, right? <laughs> so we normally go like ten dollars. <laughs> I need ten dollars. I need twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I, I use my I use my car. Um, seven. Seven, how say seven times a, a the month? I mean, seven in my case, times a yeah. month. Yes, yeah, because like because you. I only I don't I don't need I don't need my car to go to my work. Oh. I don't need. Do they pick yeah. you up? Yep, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They they <gasps> give me transportation. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> yes, I only I I only I only take a bus to the. Yeah, around to the bus to the, dip, to the depot, como para la estación. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. It, it, solo como un bus, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Like to, to the my, my bus person, depot my or personal, bus My station. personal car is only used for go to the supermarket. To go with go your family. To, yeah, to my with my family. Oh, okay. Only, Super nice. It, it, when, when I arrive to the to the gas station, I say. Uh, fuel, fuel, please. Fuel Excuse the... me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm fueling with 20, 25 dollars. Ya no, Daniel. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> so, like 20 dollars, yeah. guys, me alcanza como para tres galones. So, <laughs> we don't fuel it with 20 anymore. Okay. It, no, it, yes, it, actually, it, this that's is, this the is way. A, this is the key. This is the key. Keep the, the the tank of fuel to half half up. Oh, ah, esa, 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 esa es la clave mantener el, el, el combustible eh, más up. arriba del medio tanque. El medio tanque. Ay, Dios, ¿Sí? hasta el piloto llega. <risa> 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 y, 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 y a la larga, yeah, at the end, teacher, they are. Uh, how to say at the end this is a a, a big problem with the engine because yeah, yeah porque porque en la parte de abajo en 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 el tanque de combustible eh, tiene algunos sedimentos ah. but sometimes esos sedimentos but... go go to the engine this is a big problem oh yeah. that's a good but, thing but I didn't know. every but everybody digo, have to Push, push yeah. it. Uh, sometimes. It needs <laughs> automatic. Say, That's not possible. I say I say that because um, uh, how many um, three years ago my my job is a driver. Was a driver. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you had experience with yeah, yeah with I, that I, kind I, of I, things. I think, I can say you have experience. <laughs> oh, but nice. Yeah. That sounds actually no, very no, cool. Right, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. No, you know, I don't, I don't really drive that often. I drive probably, I don't know, twice a, a week, I would say. So not every day. Okay, guys. Nice. It was super cool talking to you and listening to you as well. Uh, guys, let's go back to the main station to share a couple of questions. Give me just a moment and I'll see you there.
Okay, guys, uh, thanks a lot for coming back. So let's take a look at part of the questions you made. It was actually very interesting. We kind of double checked the part of how much and how many. Uh, so guys, can you give us some, some questions you discussed? What are some questions you heard? So, creo que um, había como still a little doubt con la parte de how much, how many. Remember, si es un líquido, usamos how much, pero si ya lo estoy midiendo como en botellas, en tazas, or something, entonces sí, ya lo puedo cambiar a how many. Uh, how many bottles, how many liters, how many gallons, how many curtains, etc. Uh, guys, uh, help me out. Help me out, please, with a couple of questions. So, uh, Margarita, please, can you give us a question with how much? Um, how many pencils do you have? Okay, so how many pencils do you have? All right, what about how many? Um, Eh, yo me equivoqué en la otra. Yo le puse how many, pero era jamás. Dime la pregunta, Miss. How much water did you drink? Okay, how much water did you drink? De hecho, ambas son posibles. How much water did you drink? Or did you drink? Podemos también utilizar how many. Pero si le agregamos como la medición, ¿cuántos vasos? How many glasses of water? How many bottles of water? How many liters of water? So, sí se puede. Solo necesitamos agregar cuánto de qué, right? But yes, it is possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what else, guys? Give us more questions. Yuri, what is another question you have? Okay. Uh, how much do you eat? A lot. <laughs> Okay, how much do you eat? <laughs> what else? You okay. say what? <laughs> how many hours did you work? Did you work yesterday? Oh, okay, a good question. How many hours did you work yesterday? How much do you eat? Okay, do you have another question? How many people were at the room? Oh, very nice. I love your questions. Guys, how much do you normally eat? A lot of like, like in a day of, <laughs> <laughs> like in a party, in a celebration. <laughs> how much do you eat? A little? Or a you lot? can eat. Or you, or can, you eat. can eat. <laughs> no, every but. time. <laughs> every time, but like how much? Just a little bit every time. Some or a lot. Okay, let's talk, for example, about all you can eat. How many slices of pizza do you eat when you go to all you can eat? How many no, no. slices? The all you can eat is not for me. That's not for you. It's, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for me. Two. A few, Two. a few slices. Five. But a few. Uh, okay, five. Okay. About Two, five. Two or three slices. No, two or three. No, um, my God. Three yes, or five. Uh, six or seven slices. About six or seven, seven slices. Okay, six or seven. Uh -huh. Oh, just I have I, I like have eight. a little a little stomach. Uh, I mean two or three. In my case, slices? I only two or three. No, Carl, yes. two or no. three slices. Yes. Yes. No, I Please mean, how many? Like being with Con somebody. Daniel, maybe maybe uh -huh. Please, please four. stand up. <laughs> <laughs> we went to see like <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> es que casi no se ve up? el rostro. We don't see the body. <laughs> no, eh, lo que pasa es que mi, y Carlos bien mandado. Yo creo que me hace un poco más pesado a veces. Yo uno setenta y tres y peso como ciento noventa y cinco libras. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, Noemi, how many slices uh, do you normally get when you go to all you can eat things? Uh, normally, I uh, I don't I don't go, but only eat two slices. I know, guys. So don't you, go. Picture, 
Yo In my case, I don't it. like it. I don't oh, like it with pizza. Me, uh -huh, me neither. I don't like pizza. I preferred, I don't know, pupusas or burrito. Mm -hmm. How many pupusas? How many pupusas do you eat, teacher? Well, you know, the pupusas that people sell here near my house, they are small. They are not that big. Yeah, but, depending on the size. Yeah, exactly. But I yeah, think okay. just with two, three, I'm good. Yeah. You know, uh, or if it is a big one, it, like when you go to um, Los Planes, right. for example, you can find the uh, crazy pupusa, the big one. Pupusa, yeah. I have <laughs> never eaten one. I cannot oh, okay. eat one because it is too big. Too so big. Yeah, yeah. It is too okay. much for me. What about you guys? How many pupusas <laughs> like, can you eat? I own two. Three. Two. Just like you. Three Just pupusas. like you. Ay, guys, siento que les da two pena decir. <laughs> <laughs> Me, five. Oh, man, I'm oh, dinner. Teacher, <laughs> happens. Uh, so, Adolfo, five. Five. Uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Normally, normally I, I have can eat five, two but or three. De las que vienen en Santiago, no, no, algo, que son como así. <laughs> oh, so you don't need more. Van much. ocho por el dólar. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, Give me one dollar, uh, please. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. Okay. No, guys. What about the rest of you guys? Okay. Uh, Rafa, Arnoldo, <laughs> Helen. Are you like a do you normally eat like a lot? Gabby? I know that Iris doesn't. Um, Rafa, how many pupusas do you normally eat? Normally, um, Two or three? Two or three? No, guys. Yeah. Man, that's up soon. I, don't know. <laughs> I feel so disappointed. But, <laughs> but disappointed. Teacher, teacher, yeah. If yeah. you if you if you invite to us, uh -huh. we le vamos, le vamos a salir barato. I'm asking you this because I have like four brothers, you know. Um, and they don't eat two or three. <laughs> so my brothers yeah. eat a lot, you know. My um, my my children eat eight, seven or eight pupusas every one. <laughs> oh, how what? many kids do you have? I have three. Okay, no, and no, how old are they? <laughs> um, <laughs> the boy is 18 yeah. and the daughter 14 and 12. Exactly. Okay. It's because of the age, I would say. No, no. no it's no, not no, because no. of the age. No. 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 They no. always no. eat. No. Yes, they no. always eat a lot. But they never are fat. They mm. are. Uh, okay. They have a fast metabolism. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. I mean, I I'm telling you this because my nephew is 13 years old. And he's super skinny, but super, super skinny, but he eats a lot, you know? So I'm like, ¿Y para dónde? <laughs> where, does, where, the, where do the pupusas go, you know? Because he's super out. skinny. En la que está In el out. estómago en el cuerpo de esas personas. El estómago I mean, está más, más, no está tan acostado, sino que está más recto. Entonces mm. eso hace que la comida pase más ligero del estómago oh. al, al intestino. Ay, necesito una, una surgery. <laughs> 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 We need that. <laughs> no, but, but as you okay. said, sometimes it's ya el cuerpo, you know, ya nuestra complexión, right? Metabolism. Yeah. Exactly. Yo tengo un amigo así, mide casi los dos metros. Y es flaco, flaco, He's... pero come increíble. Wow. <laughs> y la hermana wow. es igual, la hermana es como de mi estatura. Oh, she's también buenísima. Ella, ella era modelo, ahora ya se retiró, se casó y se retiró, pero alta y delgada, delgada, o sea, delgado, bonito el cuerpo, pero delgadísima y comía también de todo. Cantidad. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I guess that yeah. is something that. Envidiable. Uh, exactly. Uno a veces exactly. solo piensa en la pupusa y ya sube de peso. <laughs> solo el aroma. Sí. Only the smell. smell. Right. Solo se le antoja y ya está subiendo una libra. Definitely, I get that. So, guys, coming back to the pupusa and food thing, yeah, that's the nor the normal way we use how much and how many. And if you take a look, 
in your material, tenemos like the explanation. We have non-count or yeah. uh, uncountable, and we have yeah. countable words as well. But here you have like the answers, right? A little, a lot of, a lot some, of, much, much, a great deal a great of, deal. plenty of, no. And remember, la diferencia acá es con a little, a few. A few. Or, and just a great deal of, I would say, this is not very common, but no existe con there los contables. No. But we can use several yeah. and we can use other words. Mm, when, so. when you use, uh, okay, sorry. When you use a great deal of? Um, I would say very similar to a bunch. The thing is that um, these expressions, oh, a yeah, lot of. Yeah, yeah, okay. Plenty of. Yeah, no hay un numero uh, it's for similar them. to bunch. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So we don't have a number. Okay. If I tell you Thanks. a lot of, probably five, 10, 15, I have no idea. Yeah. And uh, yeah. with plenty of, it's lo mismo. I don't really have a number for this. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, guys, take a look at this one. Here we have um, identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statement below. We have some sentences here and we are going to identify by where the mistake is. So we have, uh, Dana projected the new product will not attract much customers. Um, we also have, it is necessary to revise uh, some of the components of the marketing strategy before self-decline. It is essential that we implement a great deal of modifications. Plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. A little competitors uh, have established low prices for products similar to ours, and supermarkets have placed many orders of green tortrica this week. There are three mistakes in all the six sentences. So I'll give you three minutes, guys, and I want you to identify the three mistakes. Where are they? And what is the correct way to say those statements? All right? Three minutes, people. Uh, I have a dove. Mm -hmm. Cor correct, identify, ah, and correct. Right. No problem. Yes, identify and correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Nice. Okay, so I see Christian's answer. So he has already identified number one. And he says, Dana projected the new product will not attract many customers. Very nice. Yes. So he has already identified one mistake. So that would be. Uh, much okay, many very good. I'm not sure, but maybe the number no four. Number four, uh, where tell plenty, me, plenty of, of, of customers have expressed satisfaction with the products in plenty, okay. plenty of, I think. Plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. Okay. Um, tell me why. Uh, for me, is plenty of uh, use for non countable. Um, I, I, I'm not sure really. No worries, no worries. That is okay. Because because it's only non non uh, uncountable. Okay. Um, Rafael mm -hmm. also said number four. Yes, Rafael. I think um, many 
many customers. And number four. Instead of plenty. Plenty, yes. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah. Let's, let's go back to the definition. Expressions of quantity used with non-countable and quantable. So we have plenty yeah. of. Ah, but look with countable. We have plenty of two. So it's the same. it is possible. Okay. <laughs> it is possible. It is possible okay. to use that one. Number five. Number five. Where? A few. Uh, where can you maybe identify it? Some in the number five, maybe some some competitors. Ah, some competitors. Okay, a few. That's okay. Um, some that would be okay as well. Yes, very good. Yeah. We cannot say a little. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. We have two mistakes, guys. Not one missing. Good. Before self declaring, it is essential that we uh, implemented many, many modifications. Okay, okay, Christian says number three. Uh, before self decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal of modifications. Why, Christian? Why this one? Christian, you're mute. <laughs> Le veo bien emocionado hablando por ese silencio. You're mute. <laughs> Sorry. No uh, worries. A great day, deal of. Uh, why? Is, uh, is for non countable names. And modification is a countable. Very nice. Exactly. So we have a great deal of modifications, but modifications tiene una S. That means that C is contable. Remember, contables son todos los que tienen plural. And a great deal of solo se puede con no contables. Very nice. Exactly. So we have the three mistakes identified. Um, equations, guys. Are we good? Do you have any doubt, any question? Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. Okay, guys, very good. So in that case, it is our time to practice a little bit of speaking. Give me just a second. And I have some questions for you. So, um, guys, vamos a hacer um, 30 seconds speaking practice. No, 30 seconds es muy poquito. Uh, vamos a ir por 45 seconds, okay? 45 seconds is speaking practice. If you take a look, I think of preguntas here. There are five. And what we will do, guys, is pueden seleccionar any of them. You can select from one to five and talk about it for 45 seconds. So hasta que la alarma suene, you have to keep on talking, right? Inventense la respuesta, presionen, you know, until you can complete it. Um, Christian, dígame mi número. Give me a number, please, from one to 10. No, from one to five. Four. Four, one, two, three, four. Andrea, you are the lucky one. <laughs> Andrea is la cuarta en la lista. So, Andrea, I'll go and get started with you. Eh, me siempre es la primera. Compré la lotería. <laughs> Probably you are lucky as well. Okay. Uh, so, Andrea, this is a 45 second practice, a speaking practice. Uh, select one of the questions. Give us your opinion. Give us your answer in 45 seconds. Only 45 seconds. Um, okay. Si no recuerda cómo decir algo en inglés, no worries, dígalo en español, but siga, guys, si le pueden ayudar, si tienen una idea de lo que quiere decir, and she doesn't remember, te pueden ayudar, it's okay, that's totally fine. So, Andrea, what number do you choose? What number? Number one. Pick? Number one, what are a few ways to save a lot of money? Very nice. 45 seconds, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, no, but <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> so one, two, three, go. Okay. You can save a lot of money in the bank, but the issue, regular, regularly issue in the bank is 
a rob your money and you can save money on a bill um, in the closet you save a money in your house in the, in the pockets five seconds go 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 <laughs> miss um, and time's over <laughs> <laughs> andrea very nice job yeah you got it i mean you answered it and you gave us some details so thank you that was very nice andrea who is the next victim teacher hello hello hi Imelda. hello uh, just a question. Yes. In the question number one, mm -hmm. uh, save is like a uh, ahorrar or como guardar? Actually, that is a really good question because it says ways to save money. So sería como, como ahorrar dinero. Um, I think that Andrea uh, gave us some ideas on ways on how to keep your money. But still, you yeah. know, it works because the idea is just uh, speaking practices. But yes, that will be keep. Mm -hmm. That's keep, a super keep, valid question. Keep is put in somewhere. Yes, exactly. Keep yeah. is like a store or uh -huh, yeah. a place. And say would be, what do you do with your money? I don't know. Um, don't buy things that you don't need and so forth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be the one. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Um, Andrea, select next person, please. For name. Um, yes, or give me a number from one to five. Um, three. Okay, so number three, that's Christian. Thank you, Christian. You are the next person. Uh, you can pick from one to five. Um, uh, how uh, the four, the question four. four. How much time do you spend on a computer? Okay, so 45 seconds, Christian. If this is 45 second talk, uh, speaking time. So, uh, please, intenta no detenerse. Try to go fast. Uh, no los vaya traduciendo, don't translate it from Spanish to English. Solo lo primero que se le ocurre, right? The first idea okay. that comes to your mind. So, three, two, one, go. Okay, uh, well, I spend uh, too much time on the computer because my uh, I am a computer engineer and I make many programs in my job. Continue. Is <laughs> Uh, hard to program uh, uh, in the computer and go 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 <laughs> time's over <laughs> very nice Kristen that is all right oh so you are a computer engineer yeah oh I didn't know good to know okay Cool, thank you so much, Kristen. Kristen, a number please, from one, two, three. Uh, three. Okay, Rafa, you are number three now. So Rafa, pick up one, please, from one to five. So I, I select a number four. Okay, number four. Oh, how much time do you spend on the computer? Okay, guys. So, iniciamos con 45 segundos, pero creo que no les alcanza. I think we need more. So, <laughs> now we're going to keep the 45 seconds. Later, we will increase it. So, Rafa, there we go. Whenever you're ready. Okay, uh, I spend uh, a lot of time in a computer. In my work, uh, I principal tool the work. I review emails. Um, I send emails. And in my computer and my work is 
the all the time and review programs and IT support. And when, when time is over, <laughs> that was all right. Okay, wow. So, Kristen, and you spend a lot of time in the computer. Okay, okay. So, yes, yeah, so both of you are programmers, I guess. Okay, thank you, Rafa. One more person, please. Um, so, give me a number from one to five. Number nine. Number? Nice. Oh, okay. Let me just go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Imelda, you are number nine. Imelda, are you home? Yes, I'm home. Oh, nice, nice. I don't know, Imelda. Ya la hacía también con uh, Kenya en el de Wissing en Yandel. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like reggaeton. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, dijo que había que nos iba a compartir videos, you know. <laughs> so, hopefully she's there already. <laughs> okay, Melda, so what, uh, which number do you pick? <laughs> um, number two. Okay, so how much money do you spend on clothes? Uh, 45 yeah. seconds, uh, whenever you are ready. Okay. Uh, well, um, usually I don't spend uh, so much money in clothes because I prefer save my money to maybe another things like uh, repair something in my house or maybe buy a uh, food. <laughs> I prefer buy food. Okay. So I usually uh, spend uh, money in clothes. Maybe one or two times in a year, I try to buy clothes that uh, that was long lasting because I prefer uh, spend my money in quality in not so much in fashion or... Time is over. <laughs> <laughs> And time is over. Oh, really interesting. I love the vocabulary you use. Super, you know, like good, flourish. So, and that is important. Long lasting clothes, quality clothes, but not yeah. like fashionable clothes. Okay. Yeah, okay. even now with the fast fashion, I think that is a, a easier way to spend a lot of money. It is. It definitely is. Oh, but, but that sounds like super reasonable. Super, super nice. Very good description. Guys, very good job. That sounds very nice. Uh, the way like you try to put your ideas together. And, uh, you know, we are going to continue doing this exercise, especially because um, Creo que es bastante común que a algún punto pensamos las cosas en español, right? So we think the mm. things in Spanish, intentamos traducirlas, nos toma más tiempo, and eh, normalmente nos olvidamos de vocabulario porque estamos demasiado pendientes de traducir. So these activities nos permiten hablar más rápido y mecánicamente lo voy diciendo, ya no lo pienso en Spanish, right? No me da tiempo. So we'll try to continue working on this. Guys, eh, como les comentaba al inicio de la clase, vamos a tener una semana de vacación. We're going to have one week vacation. Nos vemos hasta el día lunes. Eh, Yes, right? uh, thank you. Yes, on Monday 8, right? And uh, I know that it's going to be vacation, but anyway, si pueden avanzar con la plataforma, terminarla. Guys, mis sugerencias que lo hagan, ya se quedan tranquilos, right? Se quedan sin eh, la um, obligación o la preocupación que los compañeros pues los están molestando. Carlos, le falta la, la plataforma. Andrea, le falta, you know. And that is even better. Guys, espero verlos el 8. Solamente les tomo asistencia super quick. And uh, give me a moment here. Hold on, hold on. Bueno, solo me regalan confirmación, please. So I got Christian. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Ya, yeah, para que nos quede grabado. Wait a moment. 
encuentro. Eh, Andrea. Here. Thank you. Hold on a second. I'm sorry, my computer knows that it's Friday, so. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. No <laughs> quiere trabajar. Don't. Okay. My computer, the computer is frozen. The, the, the computer is now the question. Yeah, my computer went on <laughs> vacation too, but not yet, not yet. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Carlos. Sorry, Christian. No, you saw Christian Adolfo. I got you. No worries. Te lo regalé. Me confirmé 100%. Delmi, no saca. Helen. Present. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Imelda. Present. Thank you. Iris. Present. Thank you, Miss Arnoldo. Kenya. Sorry, Miss, I don't hear my name. No worries. Uh, I got you. Ah, okay. Um, Thanks. Angelica. No, Angelica is not here. Uh, Gabby. Gabby was here. Present. Oh, thank you, Miss. Kenya was here. Gabby, yes. Noemi. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael. Present. Thank you. Uh, Margarita. Present. Thank you. Judy? Here, teacher. Thank you. And Daniel? Present, teacher. Thanks a lot. Oh, solo me falta Gabby. Uh, I'm sorry. Just tell me. And uh, okay. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot. Que disfruten de sus vacaciones, guys. Nos vemos hasta lunes 8 a las 8 p.m. Have a wonderful vacation, guys. Nice holidays. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.